Morning Bank Street Home. Today we're going to be thinking about making uh, paper weaving and uh, if you are interested in doing something a little fancier we could also be making looms to be doing weaving with yarns or ribbons. So let's get the basic language of weaving. Let's take a closer look to see at how we could go about this. So one of the things that you probably notice in this weaving is that there are two directions. This direction that goes up and down is called a warp and the direction that goes side by side is called a weft. So you could create your warp with any kinds of paper. I'm actually using an old envelope um, that is a folder cardstock. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going to be cutting into the paper but leaving the edge on cut. And this is a uh, work that I made earlier. This work happened to be in an angle. So you could be cutting in an angle, or you could be cutting in straight edges, but I'm leaving the top and all the sides completed. So I'm going to cut into, but not close to the edge, about a finger in, and I'm gonna cut all the way through until I have about a finger around. And I'm gonna do that with a finger spread in between it. If you want a really fancy or a new design, you're, you could um, cut in slight angles. You could also cut in curves, and that will create a whole different effect when you are making your loop. So you're gonna continue to do that all throughout. And the next thing that you're going to be needing so that you could make your work is paper that is the same width of your loom. So I happen to have some pattern paper. I also have um, white paper from the back of it, or I also have this old calendar uh, that I'm recycling. So I'm gonna open up my um, warp, and now I'm able to, with this long skinny strips, go all the way across. You can change the width of your strips, you could have thick and thin strips, you could have solid or patterns, you could recycle magazines or newspapers, you could do all kinds of different materials uh, to create your work. And if you notice, I started by going under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over. I'm gonna do now the reverse, which means that if this is underneath, I'm gonna start with it above it. And for the young children, you could help them by holding their paper up like this. And that way they know where to go. And what I want to point out to this is that the stiffer your paper is, the easier it will be to do this weavings. And the paper should stay in place once you have woven it. So I'm just sort of pushing it down. And now I'm ready to do, maybe I'm doing a pattern. I'm gonna do the opposite of what's here. So if it's here, it's above, I'm gonna do the opposite. Sometimes we forget, but you could see that each time we're doing it, we're doing the opposite of the one before. So this one's blank, now this one's gonna have the design and so forth, so on. So the nice thing of weaving is that it is calming and soothing, it's repetitive, and it's a craft that has definitely a great reward afterwards. So I'm gonna go now, if it's under, I'm gonna go over, maybe I change my paper to have a solid, and I could have the design alternate you could also do it with the same color and you will still see sort of a checker pattern. Uh, because this design that I made is curvy, we're also gonna be noticing uh, a different look to it because it's going to be on a curve, right? So I hope you enjoy making paper uh, looms. If you happen to have older children or if you have done enough of the exploration, you could then make a cardboard loom so uh, to explain the cardboard loom, it's very simple. You just take a box. Um, I like keeping the lid because I could store that like that and protect everything that's inside. I created slits for having the same amount above and be below to be able to make my wharf with strings. And now I am using uh, string, but you could also use yarns. Uh, to be able to go in and out, in and out, in, uh, in a box as well. So I hope you get some ideas of how to do some weaving, and we'll see you soon. Bye.